Right, so we've got this blank wall here and it's very bland and boring. So what we're going to do is we're going to add in a piece of wall art that will go right the way across from this side all the way over to there. This is the image that we chose. We first had to load it into Inkscape and do some editing on it and then load it into Sign Blazer ready for cutting on the vinyl cutter, which is what we are loading up here. Okay, so we made sure that the wall is clean and when the vinyl arrives it always arrives rolled up. Typically rolled up with the design on the outside of it. So what we're going to do is we're just going to unroll this, we're going to give it a couple of minutes just to settle uh, and then we're going to use ordinary masking tape to stick it in place where we want it on the wall.
Right, so now it's up, we've got the tape in the middle. So what we're going to do is we're going to unfold it from this side, we're going to bring it round, we're going to remove the back in, slice it off, and then lay the vinyl back down straight onto the wall. Uh, as we're doing it, we need to make sure that the vinyl only touches the wall. If you ever get any of the vinyl on vinyl, it's a pain to split them apart. Right, let's give this a go. Okay, so now we've done one side, we do the other. Right, once you're happy you've pressed it down enough, using your squeegee, you start to unpeel. There may be bits that still come away, if they do, just press them back down again with the squeegee. As we couldn't squeeze the entire design onto the cutter, we had to do it over two parts. This is the upper part, and we have sliced it down to a smaller area to make it easier to be able to fit. Now because there is an overlap between this and the one which is currently on the wall of 5mm the easiest way to apply it is if we roll it back a little bit slice off some of the backing that then makes it easier for us to be able to line it up and get it into exactly the right place ready to be applied to the wall and you won't be able to see where the joint is.